Welcome to Tolaris Agent Training, Lesson 9. In this lesson, we're going to talk all about Comcast Business Class, what it means when you see that it's available, how you can sell it, when you can sell it, when and how to submit a manual quote request, how to figure out if it's there or not, how to generate a contract, what to do once the contract's signed, how to submit the order, and how to check up on your order status. Basically, everything from top to bottom about Comcast. So with that, let's get started. To see if Comcast is available for one of your customers or not, you have to first create the customer record. We talked a little bit about that earlier, but just for review. Once the customer record is created, simply go into the area where it says GeoQuote and select D for Data. You'll notice here in step two that we have an entirely separate classification just for cable. Simply click on Cable, click on Continue, and within a few seconds, you'll be looking at a cable quote. Once the results show up, you'll see them down here below. You'll notice just a few things right off. Number one, you don't see anything listed below 50 meg. In all reality, Comcast does offer products under 50 meg. We just hide the lower end products at the request of Comcast. Their idea is that agents are selling things that are a little bit higher in their portfolio. That's why we draw the line here at 50 megs. But you can, of course, see everything else by clicking on the Show Promo Pricing button. Another important item. If you see Comcast quotes show up on this quote, you have to know that we're reasonably certain Comcast is available. This is one of the major ways that you check for availability of Comcast or not. Using the zip plus four, that's this right here, the zip, plus the four additional digits, we can qualify Comcast really down to the mail, mail carrier route. We know exactly where it is. It's about 95% certain. So again, if you have a really good address here, you see this green thing here, US Postal Service verified, there's a very good chance that if you do see cable here, that you're good to go and then you can sell it. Now when you see these results for cable, we're going to give you everything, including bundles. Okay, so you have internet, you have bundles, you have basically everything that Comcast has to offer when you select cable. Now, if you select just T1, or you select a bonded T1 and there's an equivalent Comcast speed, we're going to show you Comcast um, through the cross product, where you'll see it highlighted in blue. But if you select, select cable, of course, cable is the only thing that's going to come out. Simply find what your customer wants, click on the paperwork icon, and you're on your way. Now, if you want to change something separate from the default, simply click here to edit your, your order. You'll notice that once you click in, you can do things such as add static IPs. Of course, it shows you the price here on the side, so you can always speak intelligently to your prospect. You can also upgrade web hosting. You can add a business trunk or a PRI for short, just to just uh, select how many channels you'd like. You can also add full featured voice lines and you can also add television. Prices are all right here. You don't have to memorize that huge debt rate debt card. Everything is right here built into the software. So when you're ready, just click update and create paperwork and it will take you back to where we started. But this time we've got one static IP on there for $15 upgrade fee. To continue, click Next. Now, the next couple of steps are basically things for the paperwork. We need to know the official business name and install address, just in case something may vary from the customer record that you've created. This is your chance to correct it here. Next, we've got the primary contact information. Next, the billing contact information in the off chance that it does vary from the other technical and main contacts. The technical contact, the person who's going to be involved in the equipment or anything else that may be on a technical level, not necessarily billing or main contact. An IP address justification form. And you're done. We give you everything here to review. And if everything looks great, 
click on the Generate Contract button. Within a few seconds, you will see that we've generated your contract. We've done two things with this contract. Number one, we've submitted it to your email address. So simply check your email, and it should be there as an attachment. We've also attached this to the customer record. Now, when you get this signed paperwork, please send it to comcastorders at tolaris.com for processing. We are the interface for Comcast Business Class. They will not accept your orders. If you want to get paid and have this order provisioned again, it has to go to comcastorders at tolaris.com. So let's go back to the quote, and hence back to the customer record. You'll see in the attached documents section that your Comcast paperwork is loaded and ready to go. Simply click here, and here is your customer signature ready paperwork. Simply have the customer sign here on page three, with their John Hancock right in this section here. Submit that again to Comcast orders at Tolaris.com, and your order will be processed. Remember, once you've submitted your paperwork to Comcast orders at Tolaris.com, remember to come in here to Order Info and add a Comcast order. Just simply select Comcast and the carrier name. Type of service. We will use Business Cable. Leave this here. This is just for your information. Step three, leave this blank. We don't know the vendor account number yet. And in this section, simply enter the MRC. Then the NRC. Contract start date. Here's the exact format that you need to use. Contract term. A three-year term is 36 months, so enter a 36 in here. Check here to tell us what location it's, re it's attached to. This is only there if there's more than one location on the customer record. And pretty much leave these two here alone. This is for other carriers that do offer SPIFs. Comcast will offer a SPIF from time to time. I think right now they've got one going on PRI. But for the most part, Comcast is really a non-SPIF carrier. Uh, promo code, check Facebook and our LinkedIn site. Sometimes we put promo codes on here that you can get a little bit of extra Tolera spiff and click on Add Order. After your order is added, you can submit a survey. And you will see your order right here in the Order Info section. At the end of the contract, if the customer decides to renew, Simply come in here, click the Renew button, enter in the new term that's renewing for, and click on Complete Renewal. Pretty easy stuff. So again, with that, you generated the paperwork, you added the order record, and you're on your way. Next, as soon as there's an update to this order, orders pending activation, you will see that order show up right here. In fact, let's log in as a vendor, update that order so you can see what it looks like. And here is the order in pending activation. The recent status is the order received and sent to the order desk. That means everything is in process. Nice. Now let's talk a little bit about availability real fast. If you come and you run a quote for Comcast or cable, and you see this message, aw snap, GeoQuote was not able to find any providers for this location. Comcast is not available. We only give this message if you're not even in a Comcast market. So if that's there, you're pretty much done. Flipping to a different record, if you run a Comcast quote and you see this message, let's just run this quote in two seconds. Ah snap, GeoQuote was not able to find providers for that location. However, we do know that this is a Comcast market. And if there is some chance, like say for example, your customer pleads up and down, but my next door neighbor has it, or I just know it's there, you can still generate paperwork 
starting with this button here, and send it in. Once that happens, we will go ahead and roll a truck and see if that order will, will continue as planned. Or you could submit a manual qualification request if the customer wants to know that they are going to be serviced by Comcast before they sign something. Our preference is to just make you generate a, a piece of paperwork, send that in, sign, so Comcast knows we're serious. What we're going to, either way, we're going to roll a truck, either way you go. Now, if you do want to request an MQR, simply click, click on the Request Manual Quote button and it will be sent. You'll see that it shows up here, pending, and it gives you an SLA date, 5-4. That is exactly three days after today. Once we receive that, we will update that status both here on the record and also on your home page. You can see that I just barely put in this MQR and the, M the status is active, it is being worked, and this is when the response is due. Again, I can always view the MQR by clicking here, very much like a Facebook type system. If our people who are working this quote need more information from you, this will show up here, and you can simply type in the reply. You can even attach a file and submit. Again, if you're familiar with Facebook, it, this will come as uh, very, very easy to you and very intuitive. Now, lastly, a word of caution. If you go to Comcast's website and you submit a qualification, they use a very loose zip code based system. Ours is a zip plus four, so ours is pretty tight and pretty accurate. Their system is nothing but a lead generation system. If you or your customer enter the customer's information on Comcast's website hoping to get a qualification, all you're doing is submitting your lead to a direct rep. And of course, they'll tell you what's available because they're going to say everything's available, roll the truck, and then find out that it's not. So please set your customer expectation, and please know that our system is very accurate. And by MQRing this through us, we can really get in deep and roll a truck and find out for certain if something is available or not. So again, set your customer expectation, have a backup plan, just in case the serviceability does not come back in the affirmative. With that, this concludes Lesson 9. This is Patrick Oborn. It's been my pleasure spending this time with you. Thank you for coming to the Tolaris training, and have a great day. Bye-bye.